Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve perfect full coverage flawless makeup <laughs> base, I guess. I am teaming up with Smith & Cult to show you how to get a flawless base using their new Black Drop Primer. This is a mattifying primer that also brightens the skin. It's the first of its kind. It actually goes on black because it contains bamboo charcoal and black pearl. So it goes on the skin black, which might seem a little bit scary at first, but it actually blends out clear. So you can see it's kind of like working its way into the skin. It feels like very cooling. It feels like a like a gel consistency and it smells, it smells so good. It's very like subtle. So if you're sensitive to smells, you don't have to worry about that. It's super easy to blend and it just feels like, it feels hydrating rather than like most mattifying primers in my opinion. It creates this like smooth, bright, but matte finish to the skin and it reacts so perfectly with foundation. I love the way my skin turned out. I feel like it looks super full coverage. We're matte in the areas that we need to be, but it still looks like my skin. There's nothing cakey or heavy about it. The other nice thing is that it does contain glycerin. If you touch it, like once it has kind of settled into your skin, it has like a little bit of a grip to it. So it's really going to like hold on to that foundation. So your full coverage is going to last all day. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And all of the products that I mentioned, including the Smith & Gold Black Drop Primer will be listed down below. All right guys, so if you wanna see how I created this flawless full coverage makeup look, keep watching. Clearly my skin is in desperate need of some full coverage. So today I'm going to be using the new Black Drop Primer. This is from Smith & Cult. Oh, it's made in Italy. It's like a black gel. Let me show you guys how it comes out. So it comes out black. Like when you work it into the skin, it turns clear. Mm. And it's got like a really subtle, but kind of like expensive smell to it. <laughs> so it ends up turning clear. So it works for all skin tones, which is really cool. So you don't have to worry about like anything tinted, you know? So it's formulated with bamboo charcoal and black pearl, which is what gives it its black color. So the charcoal is actually mattifying. So it's gonna end up mattifying your skin, but it contains that pearl. So rather than just being like totally matte or like dry or dead looking, that pearl is actually going to brighten your skin. This is going to be ideal for people who have like slightly more oily skin, but you don't wanna look like, I don't know. Sometimes mattifying primers can just make your skin look like dead. So depending on your skin type, you're going to want to focus this in certain areas. So I'm actually going to focus it in the center of my face and then work my way out. If you have oilier skin, you can put this all over your face. And if you have dry skin, you might just want to focus it in like the tiny little areas where you might develop oil throughout the day. So I'm gonna take a small amount and I'm just gonna focus it right in the center of my face. It's super easy to blend and it feels like really cooling on the skin. So it gives your skin that like hydrated feeling on like a lot of mattifying primers. They kind of feel like they can dry out your skin. And then once it's like worked into the skin, I'm just gonna kind of like pat. Oh my God, I love that smell. A little bit on my nose too. Sometimes that gets like really shiny. So Smith & Colt is actually coming out with like a whole new makeup line in the springtime, but this is an early release because it's like very different, you know? I'm pretty sure this is the only thing that's like this. Like I've never seen this kind of thing before, you know? And it's available exclusively at Ulta. So if you're interested in this primer, I will have all of that stuff linked down below. Okay, so when it comes to full coverage glam, I prefer using something that's gonna be medium to full coverage so that I have the option to sheer it out if I want to, like at a later date, and I can build it up if I need to. Because if you use something that's like really full coverage, typically it's gonna be thicker and it can be a lot more difficult to sheer out if you want. So today I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. And this foundation is exactly that. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. It's also oil free. I also like to use a beauty blender when I'm doing more full coverage. I just find that I can't use a brush. It just gives me a more sheer coverage. So use whatever you're comfortable with, but I have to use a beauty blender. So I'm going to apply the foundation right to the beauty blender. I'm just gonna use like a tiny bit to begin and I'm gonna start working this into the skin. So in my opinion, no matter what look you're doing, it's always best to start off with a small amount and then build it up. Even if you're going for full coverage, you don't want it to get cakey. If you end up going in with like way too much product to begin with, you could just look so I'm starting off by covering my face with an even amount of foundation just to make sure that the overall complexion is a nice even tone. Wherever I feel like I need the most coverage, I'm gonna keep building it up. Just wanna make sure that you're blending it into the rest of your foundation so it doesn't look like it's heavy in some areas and not in others. And if you feel like your foundation is like not quite perfect for your skin tone, you can bring it down your neck a little bit to kind of like cheat that, you know? Plus I've got a breakout on my neck right there, so. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the foundation. We have plenty of coverage, but it still just looks like your skin. It doesn't look like heavy or cakey or anything like that. We do have some spots that are coming through because I had some pretty bad breakouts, but I'm going to highlight before I go in with concealer to cover up those spots so that I don't remove any product when I'm going in and highlighting. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Basically, you're gonna be using like lighter and darker shades on your face. So you wanna make sure that you get this all down and then you can mix a concealer shade to match perfectly. Because if you conceal a spot before you go in and like highlight, that sponge is just gonna remove all of that coverage that you just put down. So again from Too Faced, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Swan. What I love about this concealer is that it's hydrating, but it's also very full coverage. So if you're a little bit more on the dry side, this is a great option. I also love Tarte Shape Tape though. So if you're oily, you might wanna try that. It's a little bit more matte. I'm gonna use this to highlight underneath my eyes. It's pretty light. So I don't wanna like throw down way too much, but this is the area that I really like to brighten. It's like along the sides of my nose and right underneath my eyes. I'm gonna blend that out with my Sigma, I think this is called a 3D sponge or something like that. I never remember what the name is. So now you can see where we applied the concealer. It's like pretty damn bright. So I'm actually going to grab my sponge and I'm going to blend around those edges. So we want the transition to be really nice and seamless. But you can actually see that like where we put the concealer, it added a little bit more coverage over those, those spots. It's kind of like working in lighter layers, you know? When it comes to creasing or any product building up, you wanna make sure that you're applying the least amount of product in those areas. So I tend to get like a lot of creasing in my smile lines cause I have pretty intense smile lines. So I like to kind of like move my sponge around and pick up extra product. So we're still gonna have full coverage, but you wanna make sure that you're keeping a little bit more lightweight in those areas. And that's how you're going to avoid getting like cake face. I have such a bad habit of taking my concealer way too high and then I end up getting creasing. Never fails. Now I'm going to go in and conceal the tiny little spots that we have left. My favorite concealers to use for like covering up really bad breakouts is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer, the pot concealer. This is number one. This might be a teeny bit dark. I'm gonna use this on like the outer perimeter of my face. And then my other favorite is the Becca Ultimate, Co Ultimate Coverage? Long wear concealer. It's a super full cover co coverage. This is just like perfect for spot concealing. So I'm gonna use this a little bit more in the center of my face. It's like slightly lighter, so I'm gonna hit those areas. So I want them to be a little bit lighter because I already highlighted. And then what I like to do is just blend it out with my finger. Start off just by tapping it. And you wanna use really light motions. Just tap it out to begin with so that you get like a nice even layer of the product. And then I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. You can use pretty much anything you want. And I'm gonna use that to blend around the edges of that concealer. So I'm not touching the breakout itself. I'm just going around the edges. Okay, so I just quickly did my brows and contoured my nose because I feel like, I don't know, I might do an updated brow routine very soon. Okay, so when I'm doing more full coverage, I like to contour and bronze with powder rather than creams, except for in my nose. I can only do that with cream. It's like the only thing I can do. Anyway, I'm going to set my face using a powder, but we're gonna be very conservative with this powder. Oh my God, I'm just using all Too Faced products. I didn't even notice this. So I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. What I like to do is focus this in the areas where we need the most coverage. So all of those like little spots that we concealed separately. I'm actually gonna use that same little blending brush that we blended out that coverage with. Literally just gonna put it in the cap. And then I'm gonna pick up like a tiny bit of powder, tap it off. And then in those areas, I'm just going to pat that powder down. It's gonna look weird at first because we're mattifying that area and the rest of it is like kind of shiny, but just bear with me. So I'm placing that powder just in those areas. And this is gonna ensure that when we go in with the rest of our powder, it doesn't pick up any coverage from that area. So you wanna focus the most coverage in the areas where you really, really need it, rather than like just all over your face. That is the best way to avoid cake face. And if you feel like you need like extra coverage, you could use a foundation powder for this too. I just think a translucent powder is best. Okay, so you can see those like little spots. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my sponge, pick up a tiny bit more, and I'm just gonna go over the areas that I wanna set. And this is gonna kinda like melt all of it together. But because we already placed that powder down, it's not going to be removing any of the coverage. And you can set like, anywhere that you need. If you feel like you need to set your whole face, go ahead and do that. If you just feel like you need to set like specific areas, it's really up to you. And then any areas where like foundation tends to fade. 
I usually just set my under eye before I do this, but I totally forgot. So now I'm gonna set my under eye. I'm just gonna use that same powder, but I like to use a brush rather than a sponge. I don't know why, it just ends up looking like cakey to me when I use a sponge. So I'm gonna be using the MAC 240S. This is my favorite setting brush. All right, let's warm up the face. To bronze, I'm gonna be using my favorite bronzer of all time. This is BH Cosmetics Golden Gal. It's just like, it's just the perfect bronzer, just in general, it's just perfect. And I'm using my Morphe M527 brush because we set, I don't have to worry about like removing any coverage. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> Make sure you're being really, really light-handed when you go over any of those areas that we set. So you just wanna make sure that you're not pulling off that powder. For my eyes, I'm just gonna take that BH bronzer on a little fluffy brush and just kind of define the crease and a little bit along the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the Paradise Enchanted blush. This is by L'Oreal, it's in the shade Bashful. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting with the Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter. This is in Fair 01. For the final bit of insurance to make sure that this full coverage lasts all day long into the night, I'm gonna make sure that I go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. My favorite setting spray of all time. All right guys, so I just went in with a few coats of the Hourglass Caution Mascara, and then I did a little lip contouring. You know, I've been doing that lately. And then I went in with the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kylie. It's pretty, it's a nice combo. All right guys, so this is the finished full coverage look. What I love about this the most is that we've achieved like flawless perfection, but it still looks like my skin. Like it just looks like naturally flawless. You can obviously pair this with any eye look, any lip look. It's just like such a great base. Speaking of base, remember priming is like the most important thing. Again, you guys, if you're interested in the Smith & Colt Black Drop, if you're interested in the Smith & Colt Black Drop Primer, exclusively available at Ulta, all of the information will be linked down below, so make sure you check that out. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.